Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to day 19 of 30 days of nine. For the next couple of days, we're going to be looking at cleaning up some textual data to prepare the data for analysis and some visualizations. The first step you need to take is to convert your string data to documents. Once you have your string as a document, you can use some nodes which are made for cleaning textual data, such as the stop word removal node, punctuation eraser node, number filter node, and also the snowball stemmer node, which reduces words to their root. These are all very, very important steps in textual data preparation. Right here, I have only 62 rows of data, which is based off of 100 tweets I pulled, most recent tweets, which mention Microsoft. I could have pulled more. Actually, I'm gonna, let me pull more, just so we have a bigger data set. Hope you had a great day. I had a good day. I'm working on some farm projects at work, so I'm super excited right now. And of course, I'm making this video for you guys, so that's really cool. And then here, I removed duplicate tweets. Now I have just a little bit under 600 rows of data. So, strings to document. This converts our strings to a document data type so that we can use some data preparation and cleaning notes within nine. There are many options here. A lot of them I'm not going to use for my use case. For the title, I don't have a title, so I'm going to leave that as an empty string. You need to tell it where your text is. My text here is my tweet. Everything else I'm not going to change, but let me give you an overview. So assuming you're working with more documents than I am, you could specify your document source or you could get the source from a column. You could specify document category or get that from the column if you have it. If you have authors you can also get that from a column i do have authors which is my user names but i'm not going to include that here i'm not really analyzing that so i'm just going to leave that out and if you have a date for when your document was made you can you can change the document type here as well you can also specify that down here you can specify what your document column should be called the maximum number of parallel processes which really uh, affects affects how much memory is being consumed and you can select your method of tokenization here. Usually you want to go with, with the default open NLP English word tokenizer. So once we run this, we now have a new column created called document. Here it shows nothing just because for the title I put in nothing. But if you connect the document viewer, you can see that there's actually something in here. See, this one has this tweet, not even a QR code to scan, just something I can replicate in Microsoft Word, shaking my head. That sounds disappointing. <laughs> so there is something in there. The only reason why it's showing empty string is because for my title, I chose an empty string, but all my textual data is in there. And from this point, I can use some more cleaning some more text cleaning nodes in nine and then the final point i would show you a quick word cloud which you can create and it's better to clean your data and prep them before you try to do word clouds or or word vectors or any anything else in general so yes that's the end of this video it's short and sweet and i will see you tomorrow where we're going to look into getting rid of stop words in your text thank you guys goodbye